Hey everybody, this is Justin from Spudding. Today on our Ustream video, we're going to go over our Spud Ink resistance bands and our Spud Ink compression mummy bands. I'm going to start the video out today with going over a couple mobility things that you can do with the bands. Um, wanna, we're going to go really simple with this, um, address a couple of issues that I know a lot of people have. Uh, one of the most common issues that I hear when, when I'm going around to different CrossFits, uh, different powerlifting gyms, um, and it's a really common easy fix is we, we hear people talk about some of the issue, issues that they have with their overhead press um, and a few other movements. And a lot of times everybody thinks that it's something inside the shoulder that's causing the issue. And so I'll have them do a real quick demonstration of how they press or how they try, try getting into the rack position for their front squat. And a lot of times we end up finding out that it really doesn't have anything to do with the actual shoulder itself. It ends up being either the lat or it ends up being something with the tricep going on, which then over time, they baby the shoulder a little bit, which then causes just a little bit of range of motion issue inside the shoulder just a little bit. So what we're, I'm gonna show today is how we can kind of loosen those lats and those triceps up just a little bit to kind of help with that overhead press, getting into the rack position for our front squat. And then after I'm done with that, we're gonna address a couple hip issues and a couple knee issues as well. So first let's talk about that overhead press. A lot of times people, they'll start to do their overhead press, they'll be in this position and they notice that they can't quite get the arms over the top of the shoulder or behind the ear like they need to. What happens is they get left out here just a little bit. So a lot of times they think that that's something going on here in the shoulder, something with the rotator cuff, maybe a front delt or a pec minor issue, but actually what that is is the lat. We forget that the lat is a pull muscle, and what happens is as that arm's going up, that lat is so tight, it's actually pulling the arm down. So we want to loosen that up. How I'm going to use my spud ink resistance band for that is I'm going to come over to my rack, and I'm just going to attach it up here at the top somewhere. Just pull it through. I'm going to step out, slide my hand through to where it's on my wrist, and then I'm going to do what's called a C grip. I don't want to actually squeeze because that's going to tighten up my deltoid area. From there, I'm going to start to step back to where I feel a lot of good tension. I'm going to go ahead and flatten my back out, and I'm going to force my body into my ending position for my overhead press. I want the arm either directly behind the ear or above the shoulder, and from there, I'm just going to, if I need a little bit more tension, I'll step back, and I'm just going to relax the arm and let it pull that lat area. I'll go ahead and switch to the other arm so that everybody can see what I have going on. And I'm just going to hold anywhere from 30 seconds to a full 60 seconds. After I get that, then I can go ahead and switch back to my other arm. So that's going to be our lat stretch. Real simple, easy stretch. I like to do those anytime I overhead press or even before I bench press as well. Just go ahead and get those lats nice and loosened up. So next, one of the most common things that we run into is rack position issues. So luckily this one is going to be easy for you to remember because it is called the rack stretch. I'm going to attach my band again to my rack, just one of my front legs. I'll get it down low if I need to, if I need a little bit of extra tension. Again, I'm going to start in that C grip position, hook my hand. From here I have to turn my body and then I'm going to force my elbow up to my head. So everybody can see, it's right there behind. From here, I'm going to hold for about 30 seconds. I'm going to feel a real big pull right here in that tricep area because it's trying to pull that arm back and stretch that tricep. From there, after about 30 seconds, I'm going to rotate my palm either into my shoulder or out, to my sh out away from my shoulder. All that's going to do is just hit a different angle of the tricep and the shoulder a little bit. If you're really tight in that lat, this will be another good indication because you'll actually feel it pulling that lat just a little bit. As soon as I get done there, I'll step out. I can switch my hands and go right into the other side. Again, hold for 30 seconds, rotate the hand one direction, and then rotate back to the other side. So after we get our lats loosened up, get our triceps loosened up, we do want to go ahead and address the shoulders just a little bit. But I also want to focus on the pec minor just a little bit as well. A lot of people, especially bench pressers, especially some of the, some of the geared bench pressers, 
and it puts a lot, it puts a big toll on that pec minor area. So this is going to be a good little stretch, kind of loosen that area up, keep from having any potential pec tears. I'm going to go ahead and start to where my band is at a little bit of an angle if my arm is straight out. Again, I'm going to go with my C grip. From here, I have to keep my arm straight, start to turn my body all the way around, and then let my arm bend. We call it the bully stretch because if anybody out there ever got picked on as a kid, you probably had a bully do this to you once or twice. So this may be a little familiar. And from here, once I do that, I'm going to turn my body into that shoulder just a little bit more and relax that arm and let the band pull. I'm going to feel that stretch right across that front deltoid and then I'm going to feel it pulling on that pec minor a little bit as well. If you feel it inside the pec major, then we got a couple other stretches that you're going to need that we'll get to later down the road. But that's going to be a good one for you. That one, I usually hold that one no longer because of the position that your arm's in. I usually hold that one no longer than 30 to 45 seconds. Then I'll switch to my other side. So that's all of our upper body, our basic upper body stretches. Everybody give those a try. See how that helps with your overhead press, with your benching and everything. Now we're going to switch to a little bit of lower body stuff. This first one, I know a lot of you CrossFitters out there will recognize this. It's the Samson stretch. I'm just going to take it to the next level a little bit. So I'm going to attach my band down low. And from here, I'm going to have to step into my band. I'm going to step in with what's going to be my back leg. I'm going to put it up into my groin area. Step back and go into my Samson stretch position. From here, this is distracting my hip and it's pulling everything forward. So it's going to allow me to get a big, deeper stretch. It's really going to stretch out that hip flexor. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's also going to allow me to relax my body. A lot of times when we do some of these stretches, we don't allow our body to relax. And so we're not actually hitting the and stretching the areas that we need to. So I'm going to be able to allow my upper body to relax and let that band do a lot of the work for me. The next one, this is going to be really good. Pause. We didn't lose signal, the program just froze. Oh. 